good morning. I've been gone for a while. I've been going to the gym. I thought it would be a cool video to make a video about going to the gym every single day for 30 days. And I've been going every single day for 30 days and beyond. Making all kinds of gains. All kinds. But then around day 19, I decided I didn't really want to make a video about this anymore because it simply would just be one of those videos where some dude talks about going to the gym and flexes with his shirt off and it's just not something I wanted to put on the internet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So instead, took some time off, made some gains. And uh, today we're out here sort of near Superior on our way to a decommissioned silver mine. We're not picking up any silver, we're picking up some decorative boulders. I guess this company has decided it's more lucrative to sell decorative boulders in this current time than it is to sell and or smelt and the whole silver process, I guess, uh, well, just isn't as lucrative as decorative landscape boulders. Probably because of all these strip malls and all the growth and HOA communities that are popping up all over the Phoenix area. So. We're on our way to pick up some boulders, and frankly, I could give two shits about them being decorative or not. They actually have more of a function than a decorative quality to me. I'll tell you more here shortly. This is actually a really cool area, and I know it's hard to see, but you can see Weaver's Needle from here. We'll make a video about that some other time. So that is a very unique landmark with some historical significance. <laughs> this place is out here, I tell you what. It has no name that I know of. It's down at Old Dirt Road, about six miles from the highway, and it really is surprising that some of these huge dump trucks can actually make it back here to pick up. You know, it seems kind of sketchy too, but I was actually here yesterday, already pre-ran it, met with the guy, so I know that it's on the up and up, and it's all legit. It's a good story. A good story though, I think. I'm stoked to have these landscaping boulders in my yard doing something functional. Functional, that's the key. SpongeBob transition that used to be cool like three years ago, but now not so much, but people still use it, including myself. I just cannot help it sometimes. One of the most consistently challenging things about making YouTube videos is having the discretion to know when or when not to film something. For example, I would have loved to film at this mine location where they're loading up these giant boulders. They had some seriously massive equipment, absolutely massive in the ponties, and they had some cool scenery and, you know, this whole thing though was kind of a low-key deal and out of respect for the deal. 
I just don't think it would have been appropriate to whip out my camera and just start filming whatever my heart desired at this, you know, at this mining location. I will, however, let you guys in on a little secret. And ever since I was a little kid, I've had an affinity for heavy equipment and machines. And my dad, whose job had nothing to do with heavy equipment, he used to bring me home these catalogs that were like, almost like the heavy equipment version of the Auto Trader. And I would look at all the pictures cover to cover over and over and over again. And I don't know, there's always just been something about heavy equipment that's kind of just been a draw for me. But anyway, I don't necessarily have the desire to work with heavy equipment. However, if I had whistle and diesel money, you bet I would buy a Cat 797 and I would drive that thing to the store at night. But anyway, 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 we've strung this out long enough. What are these boulders for? We got about a little over 25 tons right here in the driveway, I think. Maybe another ton or two on my trailer out back which in hindsight probably wasn't the best of ideas. There was some carnage and we'll find out more once I pull the boulders off the trailer, but at the very least, it's gonna need a couple new wood boards and uh, I don't know, I was just trying to bring the maximum amount of boulders over here in one trip. Let me show you what these boulders are for. Just kidding that's not what that's not what these are for at all and I kind of wish they were positioned like a little better they're no but in all seriousness these boulders are gonna be to construct a boulder wall this is gonna be a big deal and a lot of you guys are wondering kind of how the erosion thing was going and it's it's not going well I looked at bunker blocks they're large cement Legos I looked at shot creating this whole hillside I looked at a lot of options and at the end of the day a boulder wall was the most cost-effective approach and I found a guy that's pretty cool semi locally that's gonna construct it so uh, yeah this will be pretty neat ideally it would be cool to just keep dumping riprap but there is no way to get this kind of riprap on that side of the hill and if I'm gonna get the equipment out of here, we might as well just build a real proper, really nice boulder wall. So yeah, this should be pretty freaking cool and I'm pretty fired up on it. And for those of you guys that have no idea what I'm talking about or where we even are, I have a giant wash that runs through the middle of my property. Fortunately, it's a non-regulatory wash, so there isn't a lot of rules and restrictions. However, you know, it has been getting wider and a little bit more rowdy as time goes on. We're basically just kind of fighting nature here and trying to shore up the banks. But oddly enough, it's not so much the water that runs through. Starts upstream here, goes through two culverts, this is one of them, and then runs runs on through here and it rains really hard in the summertime. However, it's mostly the water that runs down the sides that's eroding it and making this thing wider. We have 19 kilowatts of solar on a slab at the very top of this wash and that thing is slowly falling into the wash. So today, we made our first step in order to hopefully shore up this bank in a proper manner. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, well, with that, I'm about to get to getting. I'm about to go try to grill some bacon on the barbecue. You ever try that before? Yeah, me neither. It might be good, or it might not. I'm about to find out. But I wanna say if you've made it this far in this video, I wanna let you know I really, really appreciate you. Statistically on my channel, only 10% of the people that watch my videos make it to the end. So if that's you, you're really something special. Leave a comment down below so we can figure out who's who. And I just want you to know that I really, really appreciate you. If you made it this far in this video, chances are you're already subscribed, you're already leaving a like, and uh, chances are you're a real nice human. So with that, I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching.